windows, doors, and much more can really make a significant impact on the aesthetics and the energy efficiency of your home. So how do you know what to choose? Karen and I got some advice from Corey Turner, the owner of Turner Home Improvement. Take a look. Yeah. First of all, 1955, congratulations. So coming up on 70 years of good service. Coming up quick. That's yeah. really incredible. And you're third generation. Third generation. You yep. got a fourth lined up? Hopefully. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Right out of Glastonbury. And so back when this company was founded, uh, they probably had no, they couldn't even imagine what we have now as far as technology, but there's Energy Star version 7.0. Correct, 7.0. <laughs> so last fall, 7.0 went into effect. Okay. Um, every few years the EPA updates those those ratings um, and it affects everything from appliances to windows and doors to even roofing and other products as well. What, what does that mean though when I see a 7.0 what am I getting what, what you know what's happening? So in regards to like windows and doors um, windows in particular in the northern region were really affected by 7.0 uh, prior to this it required a U factor of being 0.27 or less lower U factor is actually better um, now it has to be a U factor of 0 0.20 or less. But like, what does it feel like in our home or what does it do for our energy bills? bills? So, I mean, obviously if you have old single pane windows with storm windows like mm -hmm. Kara does, then they, that's... You, you know. don't like the breeze <laughs> in December? <laughs> Not the most energy efficient yeah. windows. Um, it, windows have been very energy efficient for years. I, you know, the, the Energy Star ratings do come with certain tax incentives. So if you are getting Energy Star rated windows, you get a tax break yeah. from oh, that's the federal good to government in the state of Connecticut. Um, but that's not to say that non-Energy Star windows can't be a very good window. Um, with this latest update, it's been a little bit difficult because most window manufacturers have not been able to create a double pane window right. that met the new standards. So okay. now triple pane is the best. Automatically, most manufacturers have had to go up to triple pane. Now that's not all manufacturers. There are some manufacturers such as Provia, which we offer, and some other brands um, that have managed to meet those ratings at a double pane window. But adding a triple pane window versus a double pane window obviously has increased cost quite a bit. So it's a total pain. Total pain. Total <laughs> pain for the pains. But you know what? It's confusing and it's a big investment. So this is why you're a local company. If we have, like, I, I know I need some windows or something's wrong with my roof or I know I'm leaking air, what happens? The first thing you come out, you helped us decide what's going to make the most cost effective difference for us? Correct. We're going to come out and we're going to make an assessment of your home because uh -huh. yeah, every home is a little bit different. They face different directions. Some have a southern exposure, some don't. Um, and we're going to give you all of your different options and what we think is the best. Do we think that a double pane window is going to be the best for you? Do, you th do we think that the Energy Star rating 7.0 is the best for you? Or should we stick with the Energy Star 6.0 ratings because those are going to be a little bit better during oh, the so summertime? Oh, so they're still being sold, 6.0. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you do have options. They don't have to be Energy Star rated, just like when you go and purchase an appliance. You see the sticker that says yep. Energy Star, and you know it's an Energy Star yeah. appliance. But that doesn't mean that there aren't appliances out there that are not Energy Star rated. You're going to probably pay a little bit less for it, but they're not going to be as efficient. Right. Okay. Same thing with the windows. You'll pay a little bit less if it's not an Energy Star window, but you'll end up you know, getting a little less efficiency. You tout the services that Turner does from A, a to Z. I mean, everything outside the home, the outside envelope, roofing, siding, windows, doors, decks, porches. Yeah. Oh, you do decks as well. Absolutely. Oh, uh, well, everything. Mm -hmm. And this is the time. It's a good time to come in, to get a quote, to make a plan. Yep. Windows and doors do take a couple months for us to get in once we order them. But uh, this time is great if you want to get in for the summer season. Windows and doors, energy efficiency, summer and winter are the two big times that people think about about sure. all their air leakage and, and or their AC going out the door yeah. as well. Do I get to meet the dog? Absolutely. <laughs> and your daughter. Anytime you want to. <laughs> all right. What's the dog's name? Rubble. 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 Oh, yeah. All right. Rubble. He likes, He's the big star. he likes to play in the rubble. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. All right. To learn more about Turner Home Improvement, please visit their website. It's turnerhomeimprovement.com. You can also follow them along on Facebook and Instagram at Turner Home CT. Happy Wine Wednesday. We're so excited because we've got the Peter Franis here from Fairfield County and bringing us his fabulous wines all over the world. Cheers, Peter. We'll see you right back after this break.